Have you ever wondered what the worst side effects of amlodipine are? Amlodipine, a drug that's commonly prescribed to treat high blood pressure and coronary artery disease, is our topic of discussion today. This medication is a type of calcium channel blocker, working by dilating the blood vessels to help improve blood flow. Despite being generally safe, amlodipine, like all medications, can cause side effects. These can range from minor nuisances to severe complications. It's important to remember, though, that these side effects are not guaranteed. They are potential risks, not certainties, and many people take amlodipine without experiencing any adverse reactions. However, being aware of these side effects can help you recognize them if they do occur, ensuring that you can seek medical attention promptly. It's all about being informed and prepared for your health's sake. So, let's dive deeper into the side effects of amlodipine, starting from the least severe ones. Not all side effects of amlodipine are severe. Some are mild and often go away after a few days or a couple of weeks. Just like every other medication, amlodipine has its fair share of side effects. But don't fret just yet. Many of these side effects are minor, and they're more of an annoyance than a genuine threat to your health. Starting off, we have headaches. A common side effect of many medications, headaches can be a nuisance to deal with. However, they're usually mild and tend to disappear after your body adjusts to the medication. Next up is dizziness. This can occur as your body gets used to the medication, especially when standing up too quickly. It's important to take it slow, especially when rising from a seated or lying position to prevent a sudden drop in blood pressure. Flushing, or a sensation of warmth and redness in the face and neck, is another common side effect. This is usually harmless and tends to decrease over time as your body becomes accustomed to the medication. We also have fatigue. Some people may feel unusually tired or weak after starting amlodipine. This is typically temporary and improves as your body adjusts to the medication. Let's not forget about the possibility of swelling in the hands, feet, ankles, or lower legs. This is because amlodipine can cause your body to retain water, which results in swelling. Just remember, these side effects are usually not a cause for concern. They're typically temporary and should subside as your body adjusts to the medication. However, it's crucial to keep in mind that everyone reacts differently to medications. What may be a minor side effect for one person could be more severe for another. While these effects can be bothersome, they are not usually dangerous. However, if they persist or worsen, it's important to notify your healthcare provider. Your health is your greatest asset, and it's important to ensure that it remains in optimal condition. So, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider if you have any concerns or questions about amlodipine side effects. Moving up the scale, we have the moderate side effects of amlodipine. As we delve deeper into the side effects of this medication, it's important to remember that these are not as common as the minor side effects, but they are certainly not to be ignored. One of the moderate side effects you might experience is palpitations. This is a sensation where your heart feels like it's pounding, racing, or fluttering. It's not just uncomfortable, it can also be quite alarming. It's like your heart is staging a protest, demanding your attention. If you experience palpitations, it's important to seek medical advice as it could be a sign of an underlying issue. Another moderate side effect is abdominal pain. This isn't your run-of-the-mill stomach ache. It's a persistent discomfort that lingers, making even simple daily tasks feel like a chore. It's like an uninvited guest at your dinner party, spoiling the ambience and making everything a bit less enjoyable. If you're experiencing persistent abdominal pain while taking amlodipine, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider. The last moderate side effect we'll discuss today is swelling in the ankles or feet, also known as peripheral edema. Imagine putting on your favorite pair of shoes only to realize they've mysteriously shrunk overnight. You might dismiss it as a simple shoe malfunction, but if it happens frequently, it could be a sign of fluid buildup caused by amlodipine. This can be not only uncomfortable, but also concerning if left unchecked. These side effects can indeed be unsettling, but remember, they don't affect everyone, and even if they do, they're typically manageable. The key is to communicate with your healthcare provider. After all, 
they're your ally in this journey towards better health. Don't hesitate to reach out to them if you're experiencing any of these symptoms or if they're interfering with your daily activities. These side effects can be unsettling, but they are typically manageable with the help of a healthcare professional. Remember, taking care of your health is a team sport and you're the team captain. Make the call when you need to. Now let's talk about the severe side effects of amlodipine. While amlodipine is generally well tolerated, it's important to be aware of potential severe side effects. These are rare, but they can be serious and require immediate medical attention. One of the most severe side effects is chest pain. This might feel like a heavy pressure or squeezing sensation in your chest. It could be a sign of a condition called angina, which is when your heart muscle isn't getting enough oxygen. If you experience chest pain while taking amlodipine, it's crucial to seek medical help right away. Another serious side effect is shortness of breath. This could be a symptom of heart failure, a condition where the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. It can also be a sign of a severe allergic reaction. If you find yourself struggling to breathe, it's imperative to get medical assistance promptly. Speaking of severe allergic reactions, these are also a possible side effect of amlodipine. Signs of a severe allergic reaction include difficulty breathing, swelling of the face, lips, tongue or throat, and a rash or hives. These symptoms can be life-threatening and require immediate medical intervention. I can't stress enough how important it is to take these severe side effects seriously. While they are rare, they can be potentially life-threatening. If you're taking amlodipine and you experience any of these symptoms, don't hesitate to seek medical help. Remember, it's not just about managing your blood pressure, it's about your overall health and well-being. And part of that is being aware of the potential risks and knowing what to do if you experience any severe side effects. So the three severe side effects to remember are chest pain, shortness of breath, and signs of a severe allergic reaction. These are the side effects that are most concerning and warrant immediate attention from a healthcare professional. These are the side effects that are most concerning and warrant immediate attention from a healthcare professional. So, what have we learned about the side effects of amlodipine? In the course of our discussion, we've delved into the potential side effects of amlodipine, a common medication used to treat high blood pressure and chest pain. These side effects range from minor to severe, and it's important to be aware of them, whether you're a current user of the medication or considering its use in the future. Starting with the minor side effects, we've learned that amlodipine may cause swelling in your hands, feet, or ankles. You might also experience lightheadedness, dizziness, or a pounding heartbeat. While these side effects are typically mild, they'd be uncomfortable and may impact your daily activities. Moving on to the moderate side effects, amlodipine can cause more noticeable discomfort. This might include stomach pain, nausea, or unusual weight gain or loss. You may also experience flushing or feelings of warmth. These side effects are more significant and may require medical attention if they persist or worsen over time. The most severe side effects of amlodipine are less common, but they're important to be aware of. These can include difficulty breathing or swallowing, fainting, irregular heartbeat, and even jaundice, a yellowing of the skin or eyes. These side effects are serious and require immediate medical attention. However, it's crucial to remember that not everyone who takes amlodipine will experience these side effects, and many people use the medication with little to no side effects at all. It's also worth noting that the benefits of amlodipine, such as lowering blood pressure and reducing the risk of heart attacks and strokes, often outweigh the potential side effects for many individuals. When taking amlodipine, it's important to take certain precautions. Always inform your doctor about any other medications you're taking, as amlodipine can interact with other drugs. It's also vital to discuss any existing health conditions with your doctor as these can affect how your body responds to amlodipine. If you're pregnant, planning to become pregnant, or breastfeeding, it's especially important to consult with your healthcare provider before taking amlodipine. The medication can pass into breast milk and may have potential effects on a nursing infant. 
If you experience any side effects while taking amlodipine, don't hesitate to seek medical attention. Even minor side effects can become serious if left untreated. And remember, never stop taking amlodipine without first consulting your healthcare provider. While amlodipine is generally safe, being aware of its potential side effects can help you make informed decisions about your health. Always consult your healthcare provider for accurate information.